move the shape to E minor, it'd be... So, so I'll play these two different positions of E minor, uh, three notes per string. So. Now let me play that middle, that B flat major. It, it kind of fits right in the middle of it, so let me put E minor and B flat major together. So you have... Um, And it's kind of hard to imagine, but if you uh, if you just phrase with it a little bit, you get a, a really nice uh, you get a really nice kind of crossing melodic flow. Um, so let me play another position up, so you know what I'm talking about. So same thing, just up an octave, and then. See what I mean? So uh, let's say I was to get a really heavy groove, and I'm, gonna, I'm just going to make something up in E minor. Um, I'm probably going to throw a, a B flat in there just so it kind of, you know, goes with it, maybe an F uh, to go with that too. But something really heavy, kind of. Imagine something like that kind of uh, kind of coming at you. And we have See what I mean? And if I were to take, uh, let's just take the E, the B flat major scale. So I'm going to take uh, this position down here, and, and then use that same E minor, but up on the 12th fret. So it's and tap the right, tap the E minor, but hold the B flat major down low. You have like. Uh, Kind of, kind of shows you what I'm talking about. Thanks.